Hey, we're with Ernie at Willow Glen Antiques today, and he's got some special poles to show us that are up for sale right now. Uh, tell us about this first pole, Ernie. Well, this pole uh, has three globes on the top, which is very unusual. It came out of downtown Los Angeles, and this pole has been cut down. It's not the original height that it was. It probably was almost twice this tall originally. And we have uh, taken this pole and sandblasted all the old red lead paint off it and reprimered it and painted it a, a nice dark green. And if this color's not good, you can paint over this green any color you want. So what age is this pole, would you say? Uh, these poles were made around 1925 to 1930. Okay, and this, I understand this pole has kind of a special base on it that's not uh, typical. Yeah, the base down here at the bottom, uh, I can see on very, very few poles, and, and it's extremely heavy. Just this bottom part down here weighs about 200 pounds. I would guess this whole pole to probably weigh maybe 700 pounds altogether. It's, it's, it's all cast iron and then rolled steel on the tube shaft right here. The fluted part is rolled steel. Okay. Well, thank you, Ernie. Let's look at the next pole you have over here. Okay. This pole right here is, uh, is, is the style they used on Hollywood Boulevard, and it also has been cut down. It's been cut about five to six feet. These poles were used uh, all over Los Angeles, but, but a lot of them on Hollywood Boulevard and a lot of these came off of Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, put up around 1925 to 1930 also. And this pole is in red lead primer now, so it has been sandblasted and uh, put in primer. So it's basically ready for a light sanding and to paint any color that you uh, would want. So now with this pole, um, you said it had been cut down. What if I wanted a full height? Do you still have those? Yes, we do. The only difference between a uh, full height and this pole is this fluted part. And we, we would have the one with the longer tube shaft, and that's where you add your four to five feet of extra height or, or even six feet of extra height. So this shorter one might be more appropriate for a residence compared to a business district? Yeah, depending on the situation in the area and stuff like that. But... Uh, this one also has the new Lexan globes on it the, uh, that uh, we have available. Okay. Well, let's look, take a look at this uh, third pole over here. Okay. This, this one looks a little rougher. Well, yeah, this has the old original, uh, old original city paint off it, peeling paint. And uh, generally that always gets sandblasted off and, uh, and then we put the red lead primer on it. That's a $200 charge if, if we do that part of it. But a lot of people like them this way, and they'll buy them just like this. And this pole is called a Washington Twin. Uh, it, has, it has the same base as the Hollywood pole, but the, the arms at the top are, are uh, a lot different. And this kind of pole was used extensively in Glendale, in the city of Glendale. And it has the used globes on it. And I, I don't charge anything for the used globes, Craig. They, I just let them have the, the used globes if they want them that way. Now, as far as your stock on these, uh, these two you still have several of, but that first poll we showed, you've only got two only of those. Have, I only have two of the three one, three globe one. Yeah. And, and those poles are $7,500 a piece. And what are the prices for these other two poles? These other ones, uh, I'm selling for $3,500 a piece in the rough, which this pole's in the rough. And then this one has the $200 worth of sandblasting and red lead done so it's ready to be painted. So uh, basically uh, $3,500 and this pole's $3,500 in the rough or $3,700 with, the, with the sandblasting and priming. Okay, well thank you very much Ernie. You're very welcome and thank you.